multiplying decimals with number chips. This is a digital lesson and it starts with explaining to students how to move the decimal point before they do their multiplication and then how to shift that decimal point back the same number of places in their answer. So the next two slides give an example of that. So here they have one decimal point that they're moving one place to the right. They're going to multiply as if they were whole numbers and then when they get their answer they're going to move that decimal point back one place to the left. Here's an example of when they're moving the decimal point twice. So when they get their answer they're going to move it back two places to the left. Now students are going to start on slide five. Every slide has every number the students need. So as these problems get more difficult and they get to the end of a slide, if the numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error somewhere and they need to go back and check. So in that way, it's self-checking. So the first thing it asks them to do is just type in how many places they're moving that decimal point to the right. So here they're going to type in two second row they're going to type in one and that gives them a total of three places they move the decimal point to the right. Now they're just going to multiply using the number chips they're going to place them in the correct circles so here we get six times nine is fifty four we're going to carry a five nine times four is thirty six add five forty one and then we carry a four and sixty three plus 4, 67. So they just click and hold on the edge of these chips and move them into place. So you can see that they have to use every single number. If it doesn't work, they know they've made an error. So the last thing they need to do is move this movable decimal point into the correct place. And they're moving back three places to the left. One, two, three. And they get their answer. Now the other uh, the other way it's self-checking is they're going to match their answer to this letter in the yellow heart. And if they've done these correctly, they will solve a pirate riddle. So they're going to do the same thing on the next slide. These get a little bit more difficult as they go. They get more number chips for, with each one. Make sure they're placing that decimal point in the correct place in their answer. And when they get to the very end, now here are all the answers they should have from the previous slides. They're going to go back to the slides, find these answers, and they're going to type in the letter that was in the yellow heart. So if they've done it correctly, they will solve the pirate riddle. So this is Multiplying Decimals with Number Chips Digital Lesson.